Hey everybody, it's Brian, and this is basically a render test slash me asking for your opinion. So if you're reading the slides in the background, you see that it's talking about C++ for beginners. Well, what's really going on here is I've made some courses, put them out on Udemy. They've gotten some great feedback, some great reviews, but in particular, the C++ ones, the cute core series, I'm getting a lot of folks that don't have just the slightest concept of what C++ is. Some of these folks don't even know what a variable is. And while I wanted the course to actually start off with this as a variable, we do go through it very rapidly. And I get a lot of questions on, I don't understand what an integer is, or I don't understand what a pointer is. So really, I'm looking for something that kind of goes right here before the Qt Core for Beginners. That'll lead them from nothing to Qt Core, to Qt Core Intermediate, to Qt Core Advanced, to Widgets. And I am going to do the QML series. Um, kind of, let me flip over here. Qt6 is right around the corner, and there's going to be some massive changes to QML. So I might actually do two series for QML. I might do QML for Qt5 and then re-record everything when Qt6 comes out. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. However, I am supposed to be on vacation. I'm not very good at doing the whole vacation thing. So I'm, I'm still working my day job, but I mean kind of nights, weekends, spare time, that sort of thing. I need something just to keep me busy. So... I've been going through and reading a lot of the feedback from the Udemy courses, and a lot of it says, you know, use more graphics, slow down, take time to explain things, expand the screen out, things like that. So really looking at doing a C++ for beginners, and I want to be a little more professional than my Void Realm series, although while I still think that's quite good, it's also 10 years old, could be updated, could be a bit more professional, higher resolution, that sort of thing. And honestly, I did go out to Udemy and look for C++, and there are thousands, I mean, almost 1,500 and counting. So why do we need yet another one? Well, I think it's, it's pretty simple, actually. I want something that's going to bridge the gap from somebody knowing nothing into the courses that I have. And at the same time, you notice all these courses cost money. I mean, even if you go sort by lowest price, yeah, $10.44. So... $10.44 may not seem like a money, a lot of money to some of you, but to some folks out there, that is a lot of money, especially if, say, you're in a country where money, American money, is very expensive and you have 30 or 40 students that you want to teach. So this course that I'm developing, the C++ for Beginners, I'd be looking at doing it just dead free. So that being said, it's going to come with the caveat that I'm not going to pay a lot of attention to the questions and comments I get because I'm not going to you know, walk a class of 300 people through what is a variable. That's what the videos are intended to do. And I also want to focus on just the professionalism of some of the videos. For example, higher frame rate. And I've had a lot of feedback on the size of the text, so I want to zoom it in a bit, something like that. I'm like, I'm loving 130. Some people have said like 200%, which I think is a bit big. And I've literally seen tutorials out there that are like this. It's like, come on, guys, no one can even read that. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm really leaning towards about 130%, maybe even 120. But some folks say 100% is just a bit too small. And I also want to look at like the terminal output and maybe you know zoom that in so it's a little more readable. Sometimes that gets whipping so fast and you just can't read it. So thanks for watching. Drop some comments below and let me know what you think.